What's the, your name and uh, age here? Uh, Jerome Lobo, 46. Michelle Lobo, 42. Now, how long have you guys been uh, doing this? About a year and four months. Then where do uh, you guys come from? Well, originally we started in California, and then ever since then, that whole country's our home. Where are you guys coming from? We're coming from uh, Bristol, Pennsylvania. Where are you guys headed for today? Today we're heading for Louisville, Kentucky. What do you guys do to keep busy on the road? Oh, we uh, do a lot of talking, stop off and see scenery, sights, uh, anything, caverns, Florida, Disney World. You guys go for uh, prime trucking? Prime trucking in the Springfield. And uh, tell me a little bit about what it's like to be uh, working for prime and being an independent trucker. Well, they pr provide all the equipment and all. That we, we pay for the lease. You know, uh, We pretty much got control of what we want to do. You know. We make as much money as we drive, you know, because if you want to make more money, the more you drive. Is there anything that you'd like to say to people out there about, like, the representation of uh, truckers in the media? Um, have a little more compassion for us, you know. Um, not every single truck driver out there is a maniac the way they put us, you know. We're all respectful of all. We try to help people. We do stop to help any motorist, you know. But that's the one thing you never see from the media. What are some of your favorite places that uh, oh. oh, well, that's well, this right yeah. here. <laughs> Florida. Florida. Definitely. <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> we'll uh, take a load down there, drop it off, and then uh, spend the rest of the day. We, we went to Kennedy uh, Space Center twice, took our 10-year-old daughter, so she liked that. And there's always something to do over there. Well, thank you guys very much. You have a good day. All right. Thank and you. Safe. Okay, uh, my name is Raul Aguilar, and I'm uh, 46 years old. How long have you been out on the road this time? This time, I, we, we left uh, Thursday morning. We've got a pretty good deal because the company we work for is, uh, they bring us home once a week for uh -huh. two or three days. So that's one of the big things that truck drivers complain about, being on the road too long. Mm -hmm. And they want to get home. So if you want to keep a truck driver out for three weeks, he's pretty unhappy. But if you can bring him home every week for a couple of days, is something you can handle. So how did you get into trucking, Carl? How did I get into trucking? Uh, that's all I have done basically all my life. I started as a school bus driver and then just moved up from there. Oh, really? And then I went to, you know, I drove for Continental Trailways, Greyhound, and I switched to truck driving and, you know. What made you decide to do, like, convoy trucking or, like, carrying goods across? You the mean road? long haul? Yeah, but long haul. Uh, it pays better. It's pays the better. best pay when you run, uh, coast to coast uh, team with your partner with another guy. Um, could you please say your name, please? Uh, my name is Larry Schulting. Uh, I'm 47 years old. Where are you from, Larry? St. Petersburg, Florida. How long have you been doing this for? Been doing it going on six years now. Do you have any family or anything like Married, 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 married two kids. What does think about uh, being on the road all the time? I don't know. Sometimes I think she kind of likes it. <laughs> no. no, it's, uh, actually she doesn't. Uh, the job I have, uh, the company I worked for previous to this, we only stayed out about a week, a week and a half. This company I'm with now, we stay out close to a month most of the time. Really? So it, it's taken a little getting used to on her part. Uh, what made you decide to get into trucking in the first place? Well, I spent close to 20 years in the restaurant business, and I kind of got burned out on it, so I was looking for a career that would offer something that was totally new and different, and this was about as new and different as I could come up with. <laughs> How long is your usual run? Uh, average run is around a thousand miles usually. Well, what do you do basically when you're on the road to like uh, take up the time of the long drive? Well, I listen to a lot of CDs, listen to the radio. Is there anything that you'd like to say to uh, people out there about like how the media portrays truckers and uh, truck drivers, trucking companies? Uh, it's hard to say really because you know the media doesn't really give us a bad rap most of the time, but every once in a while. I mean, a while, several years ago, there was a piece in the parade section of the newspaper that kind of um, was a little bit misleading and made it look like the majority of the accidents on the road were created by truck drivers, um, which isn't quite true, but it's it's kind of hard for me to really say anything, you know, as far as the media goes. Thanks a lot, Larry. Okay, my Have pleasure. Have a great day. Okay, you too. My name is uh, Dainan Suharat Singh, and I'm uh, 41 years old. How long have you been in the uh, trucking industry? Six years. August uh, was my sixth year. Um, are you married or single? I'm married. How does your wife feel about being on the road so much? 
Well, she get used to, you know, being a, a me away from home and um, it's something that, uh, you know, your family have to get used to, too, you know. And how long uh, have you been on the road this time? Uh, about uh, over two weeks and a half. What do you do to uh, keep busy while you're on the road? Oh, I have my AT&T phone. I work for Landstar uh -huh. Ranger in Jacksonville, Florida, and um, I get all my loads uh, on my telephone for the internet to keep busy. Uh -huh. Is there anything that you'd like to say to people about how uh, truckers have been perceived in the community, on the road, that kind of thing? Um, I would uh, like to give advice to, uh, you know, uh, a lot of four-wheelers outside there. Just uh, stay away from big trucks. They can be dangerous. We carry all co commodities. Uh, we're very heavy on the road. Like right now, I'm 78,500 pounds total uh, gross weight. Uh, you pull in front of me, you can get hurt, so, you know. We try to avoid a lot of accidents, but sometimes we can't. Um, stay away from big trucks and stay away from the blind side or to the side of the vehicle, right next to the, uh, the driver's side and the passenger window. Uh, stay clear of that area. We can't see behind the trailer. So if we had to slam in our, uh, our brakes, Sometimes you leave out on Friday nights, everybody's getting 